Hey guys, Ben here. Welcome to episode 55 of my daily videos about copywriting. Today, as promised, we will cover how to get more referrals. And I got a question from some of you guys uh, about my last poll or within through my last poll. And that question was, how do you inspire people? I actually wrote it down. How do you go from doing work for others and inspiring them enough to refer you to others? And that's a very good question. And there are actually two parts to this, questions that, to this question that I would like to address. So the first part being, there's a very good or helpful distinction here to make. We can make a difference between getting a referral and word of mouth marketing. What, what's the difference? If you ask me, the difference is word of mouth is you doing great service, having great quality, and then by having great quality, the people you serve or you sell to will automatically have the urge to tell your friends about them, uh, about you, and, and kind of refer you to other people, but you don't really have much, much influence um, on them doing it. You can, you can help out, be super great, have great service, and that way your word, word of mouth marketing uh, would increase. That is at least how I would differentiate it. It's a, it's a rather passive action by just delivering great service. Now, when it comes to getting referrals, it's a very active thing. It is something you ask for. It is something you, you help the person to, to actually do it. It's not just you waiting for people to talk to your friends, to their friends about you. So that was the first part. There's a distinction between word of mouth and getting referrals. Now, the second part is how do you inspire those people that you are working with to, to refer you to people in their networks? And as we discussed in earlier videos about copywriting, that fits in very well here because we discussed that there are specific reasons why people buy. And I can read them to you again from the Copywriting Secrets book. The 10 reasons why people buy are make money, save money, save time, avoid effort, escape mental or physical pain, get more comfort, um, attain better health, gain praise, feel more loved, or increase their popularity or social status. So why are these 10 reasons important when getting referrals? The, probably the most important things when you try to get a referral is to have your client be aware of, of why they bought from you. What did you solve for them? And if you look at those 10 reasons, if you want you, I can send them to you if you want to read them again. But if you look at them, those are the reasons why people buy from you. And you sometimes have to, to help them see those reasons and, and be aware of why they actually gave you money. Let's, let's do an example. If you are a designer and you do, let's just say you do a logo on a business card for your client. Now, what, why did that person give you money now? To have a piece of paper? Probably not. That's not the real reason why that person gave you money. I mean, in, it's just me freestyling here now and brainstorming, but one reason could be that their status in their network or in their business network would increase if they have a really nicely designed business card. So for that person, the reason why they gave you money could be increased social status or increased feeling of, of value when, when, uh, when approaching new clients for that person. And, but the, the number one thing here to understand is you have to find out why your clients are giving you money. What are those 10 reasons, like which one of those or which couple of those are you actually providing them? And by finding that out, really, you can then use this, this item or this, um, this reason you found out and then ask them if they have people who could also benefit in this way because this way is real to them in, the, in that moment. But if you just finish the work and first of all, don't ask at all for a referral, it's the first mistake. But then second of all, just, just ask like, do you have someone who you would like uh, to refer to me? Most people will say no and because they're trying to protect their network. But if you make sure you really dig into why they actually pay you in the first place and you know that reason, then you use this reason and um, remind them of 
that positive feeling you gave them. And then you ask if they know anybody in their network that would, that could, um, what's the word benefit from this too, then it opens up way more chances that they will actually consider it because most people enjoy giving referrals for, for things they like. If you watch a great movie or uh, went to a great restaurant and I'm getting way ahead of me here. There's so much to talk about referrals. I, yes, I could go on. I try to keep my video short, but I hope that gave you an idea of uh, what's very like vital when you even think about asking for a referral. To sum up, the first thing is you should ask. It's an, it's an active thing to get referrals. And the second thing, thing is find out why your clients are giving you money. What problem are you solving for them? Which of these 10 reasons are you actually solving or providing for them? And then use this thing, this whatever it is, to, to remind them of it and then ask who they could know or they know who they want to benefit from that as well. I hope that was not too broad of a view on getting referrals. If you have any questions, please let me know. I have a lot, lot, like, a lot more on this subject that I could share. And yeah, if you want to know anything, just let me know. I hope you enjoyed this video. Leave a like if this helped. Leave a comment if you have any questions. And I will see you tomorrow in tomorrow's video. Have a great day. Bye.